This will do for starters. Okay, get me out of here. This probably calls the elevator to me. Where I currently am. Curious about this guy. Is this the zip? Ah. So I think using this, you can teleport to a specific location. I think that's going to come in handy because the movement is very slow this time around. So being able to warp back to a location would be welcome. Oh, wow. Relatively big teleports. Yeah, there's a plant in the- oh. There's a few of them. So the, uh, the flowers are shedding onto the floor. Perhaps not very important. Hey, come here! You gotta see this! Alright, let's take a look. His favorite sleeping spot. My necklace showed it to me. Got it two weeks ago on an age called Serenia. Shows me all kinds of stuff. You think that's strange that my necklace shows me things? Dad does. He says a lot of things I've seen on Serenia aren't real. My brothers believe me, though. Uh, excuse me. Those are a lot of important things. You're just b dropping on me like bombshells. So she has a necklace that gives her visions, and her dad lets her keep it, apparently, which is already... I'm a little concerned about that after what happened with the brothers. And supposedly it lets her talk to her brothers, which means that's a, that's a giant concern because they are manipulators, and I don't know if she is fully aware of what to, about how to deal with that, and so they might even have manipulated her into sabotaging what Atrus was just doing. Like the first thing that comes to mind. Where am I? Right, I came from there. And those are the options. Yeah, you uh, you teleport far. Mix up, mix up for the slow loading speed a bit, but holy crap, yeah, you go so far per teleport that I'm like, I find myself slightly conf confused as to where I am. It's you. There's something out there. Oh yeah, water wheel. Definitely a water wheel. Is it off? Don't worry, I'm definitely qualified to do this. I played infra. That means I know what I'm doing. Um... Oh, I super don't know what I'm doing. Okay, cool. So that's... Question mark. There we go. It's not spinning, so I'm just gonna- I'm just photographing it as a future potential issue to come back for if I can't figure it out. That thing's not moving. Bird went, like, right through me. I, I, get, I get so curious about how this whole thing runs and how it's working. It almost seems like it's a series of, uh... It almost seems like a series of 3D videos. That, like, three, like, like those, uh... Those YouTube 360 videos where you can look around freely. But it might be 3D models? I, it's, I'm not entirely sure if this is 3D models or if it's pre-rendered now or not. In particular, what I wonder about is that if you look at the save men the options menu we looked at earlier, 
one of the graphics settings was to turn on and off water and other effects and stuff like that, but in particular, water. And I'm like, if I'm turning off water, that means that, does that mean these are 3D models? And we're actually playing a 3D game now, not a series of pre-rendered things? Because the water is apparently, it is moving. And apparently it's like, you can turn the effects off and there's still water of some kind. And it makes me just curious about how this whole thing works. Whose room is this? Her room, I think? I'm just wandering in. Hey, this is the only... I think this is the only missed game where I don't start off with like a book down here in the bottom of the screen that I can read immediately for like context and clues about the mission and also like be the contextual guide through some of the game. We actually don't have anything on me right now. Can I photograph a document? I totally can. Awesome. Okay. There's lamp one and lamp two, laser one and laser two. The two of them are crisscrossed in opposite sides. There's a code panel. We're familiar a bit with those grid-based code panels because one of them was involved, I believe, in the ending of Mist One. There was that weird thing where you could tap little codes into it to, an to type in its answer. It looks like I need to turn on both of the lamps and then each of them will broadcast half of the parts of the code, and then between that I'll have the actual answer to the code. Note, turn one of the lamps off to reset the code readout, after having achieved correct code combination. Oh. Huh. It says, after having achieved the correct code, I thought it would be broadcast. I thought maybe it broadcast the code to me, like it was going to tell me what the code is, and then I'd input it somewhere. But it might be—it might be where you input the code too. Huh. Now, what are you? I made something happen, and there's wires going off the table. It looks like. Anything else here? Can't read the letters. Let's go back this way. Where's the wire attached to? Somewhere down there. I think the wire goes outside. I'll check later. Let's go around in here a little bit more. Okay. So that's the sons, the father... Shit, they're Sirius and Akinar, aren't they? Did I not get these goddamn names right? <laughs> Checking the manual out of paranoia now. Atris. I was calling them Akinar, wasn't I? They're somewhat similar names. A little bit. In fantasy world. But I definitely... Mix those up. So Catherine, Atris, and then Sirius and Akinar. Couldn't necessarily tell them apart. I don't know how well I'd remember which one was which right now, but I definitely am not going to remember which one is which when they're tiny baby people. So that's where the code was before. The code panel was inside of a fireplace. Wonder if he just has a particular fixation for that. Hello, mask. Hmm, are those the two lamps? Those could be the two lamps we heard about. Creepy bedroom elevator. 
Okay. Thought there'd just be a panel there, but I want if I, if it's leaving, I want to take a look over here real quick. The desk and oop, I can read this one. My love, we must be united in this. Can you find it in your heart to listen and forgive? For I cannot be strong in this alone. Okay, those are their names, I think. That might be useful to take a picture of, because it might help me translate a language. I think the top one says Atris and the bottom one says Catherine, perhaps? But I'm not really sure if you can translate that. Is that like a camera up there? This seems like Atrus's room. Maybe. Could be Catherine's? If she wrote- I mean, it does have the- Atrus never seemed that sentimental, but it does have a painting of their family, so maybe this is Catherine's- Look at the clothes. Colorful? I can't- know if, don't know if I can get close enough to get a good look at them. The masks might indicate that this is- oh, look at that looks a bit more- I mean, it'd be, I guess it would be both of their room anyway. Probably. That's probably both of their room and then his office is in the uh, starting room. Okay. So that didn't do anything. Concern. Are those the two things they're gonna shoot lasers out? And show me the code? Could be. I think the issue is I need to establish power. So I found a puzzle, but I don't think I can do anything with it until we get the power turned on. There we go. Guess we'll just keep poking around. Does something. Maybe it changes... Oh, yeah, that's, so that's where we started. We were in that room. We rode the elevator down. So that's what it looks like from here. It seems like it goes subaquatic, which is terrifying, but sure. I don't know if I could do it yet or not, but there was a there was an indicator for more floors. Just seeing it go underwater, I wonder if it actually works yet or not. This might be a landing platform for another submarine, like we've seen before. So that platform is on a gear, so the entire thing probably rotates and points at other locations. So it's pointing over there right now, and you can probably point it somewhere below us, I'd guess. Is it probably... I don't know. It might raise, but I don't think it'll raise. I think it'll just rotate. So it's probably a platform under us that it can turn towards. So we tried going down there, too. I think all these guys might light up when I get the power turned on. Maybe, maybe that won't be until... Maybe maybe they only light up at nighttime. Be a bit excessive to light up now. Oh, is she gone? The 
daughter has disappeared. There she is. She kind of distracted me into walking past this place originally because she, she beckoned me over. Let me guess. Dad blew the power again, didn't he? He does that a lot. Mom made him install an extra power box in here just in case. Oh no! This box is supposed to make sure certain things always work in the house. There aren't enough rows lit up correctly. Only a green light on top of a filled row means something's getting power. I wonder if we can move them. Better not. Mom doesn't like me messing with electrical stuff. Come on, little guy, let's go see our friends. Hey, I never know this stop before. It's so cool. I think my beetles are making a nest. They went straight from pretty talented actor to child actor in two games. In one- between two games, I mean. Just some moths and whatnot. Little spots. Looks like a traffic light, actually. Like a lot like one. Oh, wow. I'll have to show this to Dad soon as he gets home. He loves this kind of stuff. <laughs> Whenever there's pre-rendered stuff, it's like we have to establish exactly how it left. Because it needs to leave the room. Because there's limited amounts of movement you can get away with while the, while the, the live-action person is in the room. It reminds me of, like, the stuff where, like, in previous games you can open something, but as you walk away, it'll show the animation of it closing on its own. Because if it doesn't, it'll be like, how'd that close? Because it's going to show up as being closed whenever you're not standing right next to it. Because other otherwise they'd have to, like, double render those pre-rendered scenes in that game. The previous ones. And then I let them all escape. Apparently I'm a bad person. Are they gonna flock to something, I wonder? Wow, well, I better show Dad when I get home and then immediately the Wanderer guy just walks in and is like, Nope. No bugs in captivity. Freedom. Could that be a book I can read? No. Seems more like a flask. Oop, there's one. Is this a book I can read? Oh yeah, here's a familiar sight. I linked to Haven yesterday. The smell of its bleach, uh, of its beach washed over me long before my vision cleared. With the veil of haze slowly lifting from my eyes, I focused myself to breathe, forced myself to breathe very deeply. I had not told Atrus I was doing this. He would have argued with me and told me again how dangerous, dangerous it is to visit the prison ages before Tamana's linking chamber is built. But construction takes time, and I could no longer wait for him. The night of the shipwreck... Is that a voice? The night of the shipwreck rising out of the sea filled me with unexpected dread. Of course I'd known it would be there, 
I'd seen the countless times... I've seen it countless times in Atrus's viewer, but seeing it for real through... planted... Sl uh, slanted... slanted metal bars made me realize exactly what we'd done. I imagined the words my son would throw at me, the courage drained away from... Uh, drained away like summer wine. I did not sig try to signal him. So this is, uh, this is Catherine. I thought it was, I thought it was the daughter's. Like, the daughter was secretly visiting the sons. I feel nothing but numbness now. It was my idea to write the chambers into existence, to bend the, the art. No. To bend the art so that a secure room might be in inserted into each age with solid walls to uh s no no force of men might break break i'm this writing all right they're also doing the rainbow ink which uh is also a missed one reference it almost I'm almost wondering if if Ubisoft was like, oh god, we have to make this feel like a, a real missed game out because we're scared of backlash, so they put like the weird fireplace hiding th place in it and they put the rainbow ink in here, which was like a prank that I think the Channelwood people did. Only then could we risk visiting our sons and leaving a Tamana linking book behind us when we left. It took me months to convince Atrus this could work. But now that the chamber exists and I will speak to my sons for the first time in years, I find myself not knowing what to say. How will I explain our decision to leave them prisoners? If hardship and isolation have... What? Have not... Caused them to repent, as was our hope? What words will soothe the anger in their souls? Weeks have passed, and still I have not found the courage link again. Perhaps it is just as well. Atrus was not pleased when he learned what I had done. He begged me to have more patience, then put extra pressure on the guild of stonemasons to finish. Today they informed us that Tamana's chamber will be ready in two days. Had we been able to use the art to create it. Is that art? Am I, am I crazy? I feel like that might have been a, refer, a reference to a word we've, I've seen before. Uh, as we did with the ones in the prison ages, ages, it would have already been finished. But things always take longer to build when you must do it by hand. Now Atreus is looking forward to having our bedroom back. I should be too, but I keep wondering how I'll be able to sleep there, knowing our sons are just a wall away. I worry how they'll act when they greet us, how different they will be from the laughing boys I remember playing with toy boats in m something reflection Miss Reflection Pool. They were happy then. We all were happy. Anna was still with us. And the love we shared as a family knew no bounds. Then Anna died, and our cozy world unraveled. To deal with the loss of his grandmother, Atrus buried himself in work, spending less and less time with our sons. At five years old, Cirrus must have been must have seen this as rejection, but even their pride was too well formed to let it show. And as for Akinar, he'd never known how to channel his emotions appropriately. I do not excuse the crimes committed. Cyrus and Akinar shattered so many lives in far worse ways than Anna's death shattered ours. It's for this reason that I have stood by Atrus's decision and left my sons imprisoned all these years. But I cannot escape my own culpability in this. Or when Cirrus and Akinar needed me most, 
I was too consumed by sorrow to see. I am being torn in two. I am trapped between a mother's love for her children and a woman's loyalty to her husband. I don't know how if... And she stopped. She didn't want to write that in case somebody saw it. It is so hard. I watch Atrus and Akinar trying to communicate, and it feels like knife blades ripping through my heart. They don't know how to relate to each other. Akinar speaks only from emotion, and Atrus fears he's made his son a savage. Only my presence keeps things from fraying. It's easier with Cirrus. They share a love of science, and Cirrus's willingness to discuss advancements he's made ignites a similar excitement in Atrus. Yet even then, Atrus doesn't believe he's unwilling to trust. Oh, yet even then, Atrus doesn't believe. He's unwilling to trust because he knows what monsters they might have been. Might or must or... Or what monsters they have been. I think that word's actually crossed out. I must find a way to resolve their... Resolve this. I must break through Atrus's doubts and get him to see what he cannot. It's been a long time since I've written in their journal. I thought perhaps I had lost it, but while uh, repotting plants in my study, I found it behind one of the incubators. It must have fallen there when Atrus reconfigured the, the generator. No matter, I have it now. Yisha asked me today if Atrus and I are still arguing. She was seated at the patio table, her head bowed over her school books. She was concentrating so hard on tracing a... Uh, it's a made-up word, so good luck. <laughs> Garovet, Gorevti? I don't think she saw my reaction. We have always been careful not to disagree in front of her. I should have realized how... Uh insightful she can be I watched my daughter forming the Denis wonder so carefully and I remember how easily how easy it had been to convince Atrus to trust teaching her the start teaching her the Azo Arno the art I think it's the same symbol I thought was was the art, but it might be something else. It's, when you have potential made-up words, it's a lot harder to tell what they are if it's in a weird... Like, I, I have to try to interpret what words I'm seeing, but based on just what I know and have sentence structure. But when it's just crazy made-up stuff, I don't even know for sure what letters it is. So it seems like they already have the ability to talk to their sons. I thought the whole point of the intro was that we're going to establish contact, but apparently they already had contact, and that's so that means different things about the, uh, the daughter. I thought the do I thought the necklace was somehow letting them communicate or something. He never did teach Cirrus or Akinar. He started to. He wrote uh, John Jnanin speci specifically for that purpose. I think that was the. I think it's the name of one of the chapters from Mist 3, I want to say, but I don't remember exactly what their names were still. But after a while, he feared they would abuse it, so he stopped. He's not worried about Yisha. He sees how curious she is about life and how full of warmth she can be. It's obvious how much he adores her, as I think do Cirrus and Akinar. If there is any hope in this for all of us, it will be through her. I must not let family tensions upset her. Tomorrow I will speak to Atrus about going to... something for a few days. Tay? Lay? Perhaps time will help me gain perspective and discover what it is I need to do. 
And that's the end. So it's a journal from Catherine. Last time we read a, a journal from Catherine was probably in... We probably read a journal from her in Riven. I don't remember if we read a journal from her or just from the Atrus's father. No mention of how it, uh, the grandmother's death led to the father probably doing what he did too. In fact, he's not mentioned at all. I'm curious to see if this opens or not. It does not. All right, well then back to the power then. And maybe not the worst time to make a save. Eh, one's a valid name, I suppose. 